Hey guys, Lewis here. So, I just wanna definitely say thank you to the GoFundMe crew because without you guys, I wouldn't be able to do this. Now, I've already built this house um, with a lot of materials that I already had, but without you guys, the materials from the siding to the shingles to the doors, all thanks to you guys. Now, I do wanna say um, I was in Lowe's today and I decided to get a power tool. And this is when I mean like, thank you GoFundMe crew because it wasn't for you when we were to get this. Now, I, I do wanna say this, a lot of times when I do my own homes, or when I do my homes in general, because I always do my own homes, I always use columns. Now, this does not look complicated. It looks very simple. To me, it's very simple. All it is, is just your long piece of strip. And it has small trim and also has large trim or medium trim. That's all it is. I'll give you guys a closer look. Should have showed you guys it this way. So that's how I make my columns and I actually enjoy making them that way. But you know, I also have to make <gasps> stairs. Right, I know, right, right. It looks complicated, doesn't it? Doesn't look like a solid set of stairs. Believe it or not, it's not solid at all. At first, I was doing solid stairs, meaning you would see all of this all under here. And I was like, you know what? No, 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 no. That's wasted material. I could be using that for something else. Like this, this stuff is like, no, 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 no. Then this was like too much cutting. And I said too much cutting, this is what I meant. This is really good. But I mean, for what I'm about to do, if I want more columns, I mean, I don't want to be, I don't want to do that no more. If I don't have to, I don't. I'll do this for a trim. Maybe not even trim no more. But I don't wanna be, not to mention the grooves. I was getting angles, like it wasn't even cutting straight no more. Like these aluminum boxes suck. They really suck. They suck, I'm gonna be honest with you, but they're a lot better than the plastic ones, which really suck. The plastic ones suck. These, they tend to last longer than the plastic ones, but they still suck. Because after a while, this was straight. You see how this is kind of straight? I'm gonna get something angled and I don't want that. So I came up with a better idea, better technique. And basically what I normally used to do is I'll take trim like this or a strip of wood like this that was a little bit longer. And I would have to, you know, you see how these are uneven? Well, Thanks to, you know, Hobby Lobby, I could buy these blocks. Now these are about, I wanna say, I don't know the diameter, not diameter, but you know what I mean? <laughs> Cause this isn't a circle, but I don't know, like, um, I guess this is, this actually fits. It fits enough for me to be like, okay, I can do a stacking method. Basically that's what I've done with this. I have a stacking method. And all you're doing is just one, two, three, four. You just need the four long pieces. And then you can put these, your dice. I'm gonna call these dice. You put your dice right here and you put your dice right here and it'll give you this type of look that I'm going for. But instead of buying these all the time, you know, cause these are like $2.49 a piece. Sometimes Hobby Lobby doesn't even have them. I bought all they had in the store because I knew I was gonna need a lot of them. So I said to myself, you know what? I don't want to go to Hobby Lobby every day just for these, the dice pieces. I don't want to do all of that. Why not be able to cut it my own self when I want to, how I want to? Perfect, problem solved. I'm gonna show you guys this new Rockwell tool. So once again, thank you GoFundMe crew for all that you do and I'm very grateful and very thankful. So coming over, you can see that I've already used the machine. I like it. It helped me cut this piece right here. And as you can see, it's pretty straight. Believe it or not, it's a clean cut. It's very straight. And I actually like this machine because it's so many things that you can do. Now I can cut out. If I wanted to, I could have wood products and actually cut out windows and doors. You know what I'm saying? Because 
this right here will come off. So that's pretty good that this, the arm, that'll come off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, I didn't know that. I didn't know that until I started looking at it. I was like, whoa, that's, 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 I'm gonna need that. So I like that aspect of it. Um, speaking of that, you guys like my new home? Yes, it's my old fashioned dream home. Now she's not complete. No, she's not. She still has some work. Had to touch up on minor details. I need to build her some stairs. Um, going in and around, she is fully wired. She is, baby, she's wired, okay? She is wired. I, when I say wired, I mean wired like cops, wing wire, that type. She's wired. I'm joking. She's not wired like that, but she's pre wired, meaning her lights will come on. Now the sconces, I don't have those glued in place. Did that door just come off? I don't, apparently I don't have the door glued on either. That's because I'm not truly finished 100% with this home. I still have a lot of work to do. I'm not gonna continue to do the inside because I'm gonna leave that for somebody else to do that inside because y'all know I don't do interiors. I can if I want to, but no, I'm not doing that. Mm -mm. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Y'all know I stick to exteriors. So I like to build, build, build. But I can interior decorate. Don't let it fool you, because I can. Okay, so going inside of the home, and once again, this is off my Sunflower Savage dream home. You guys remember that home. So this home has a lot of potential. You know, it has a lot of potential. You know, so much as a smaller home. I still have to do a few things to it, like add some flashing to this chimney. That's one thing I am looking forward to doing because it's something different. And then I get to age the roof. So I'm gonna age the roof a little bit more because I'm going for a different look, different color, different theme, things like that. But other than that, I actually love the way this home is. It's not so neat, meaning, oh, it's 100% perfect because old fashioned homes aren't always perfect. You know, they have the paint chipping and stuff like that. Like I wanted that, but I didn't really want that. I, I just wanted an all white house, you know, with, you know, just a, with a pop of color. Just a pop, not a lot, just a pop of color. And I actually like this house, I really, really, really do. But back to what I was saying about the power tool. So, with my columns, my stairs, I think this tool is going to, you know, pay for itself because it's gonna save me time. Meaning I don't have to sit there with no saw blade and just, I can easily just run this baby on through, so. I wanna see if you guys can watch me do it. I'm gonna try to do it, but um, y'all know I like to hold the phone and I gotta do the angles, so stay tuned. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I was a little nervous about using this tool because it's like, uh, I've never used this before. But after watching a bunch of YouTube videos, yeah, I'm, I'm an expert now. So I'm gonna go ahead and use it. Now, I did measure it out, you know, for this length. And I'm gonna test out if I could make a bunch of, you know, the little cubes. So, wish me luck because I'm always using hand tools and using a power tool. It's gonna be interesting. So, I'll just, you know, just watch. See what I can do. I'm gonna let you guys know I can do this. <laughs> it's gonna be noisy too, so I just want y'all to know that. So I will be moving these because, you know, we don't want all of that happening. So, yeah, we're good. <laughs> I like this, but I think I need a little bit more practice with it only because I know if I want to do like more like closer to like right here, I don't want to cut my fingers off. I tend to love my fingers and they kind of like help me do my work. So I probably won't be doing that. So um, I'm probably not gonna be doing that. But that don't mean I'm gonna ditch, that don't mean I'm gonna ditch my old fashioned way, which was, this now, I will still use this as a backup plan, but if I want to like speed, you know, I'm gonna kind of go for this. So, <sighs> yes, but I do just want to say thank you guys for all the loves and the support. The GoFundMe crew, thank you guys for looking out for me because this helped me out, and I couldn't do this without y'all. So, y'all just stay tuned and um. 
Happy chat. So, I am about to do something so incredible. When I say so incredible, I mean stay tuned because you're not going to want to miss this. And you guys want to know how to make my columns? I'm going to show you how to do my columns. Stay tuned. Okay guys, so I've been playing around with this tool. I'm having a lot a lot of fun and it's kind of like, oh my gosh, like, why haven't I done this a long time ago? Like, I should do this a long time ago. Like, I could have saved myself so much. You know what I'm saying? Because doing this and this, it has some pros and some cons, okay? I'm just gonna leave it at that. <laughs> So guys, I am about to complete a huge task. When I see a huge task, I mean, I am about to make, I think I gotta make about four. I gotta make four of these. So using the new method, which is, you know, that, I'm going to attempt to make four of these. And I'm also going to, I'm gonna cheat a little bit too. I'm only going to use that to cut only the treads. Not the side pieces. I think I got enough of these um, dice pieces to do that. I think, you know, I can always go to Hobby Lobby and get some more, or better yet, I can just cut them on here. That's gonna save me a lot of money and gas from going to the store. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yep. Yep. It's gonna save me some money too. And I'm gonna tell you why. Because when I go into Hobby Lobby, I tend to get more than just one thing. You know, I do have my occasions where I get more than one thing, even though I came in it for one thing. <laughs> so let me go ahead and um get these measurements and I guess stay tuned. I, I, I guess, if y'all wanna see how it's gonna come out. I mean, I'm hoping it comes out with really good. I knew it will, okay? I like a challenge and I like to work in production mode, meaning I like assembly line type of work. Meaning, it starts at a process, it goes from this stage to this stage to this stage, and I like doing it all at the same time. I don't wanna do it, okay, let me build the stairwell first, and then I'll build this one second, and then this one third. No, 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 no. I'm not doing that. I'm doing all four at the same time. I'm cutting all the treads out. I think I'm gonna need about four times four, so maybe I'm gonna need about 16 of those. And I don't know if I got enough cubes to go on the side. So um, I'm gonna stretch what I got, even though I got a hand cut or use that, I'm gonna do that. And um, because right now I only got this, you know, this is just for, you know, backup. So <sighs> got my work cut out for me. Literally, don't I? Literally, yeah, I do, I do. Actually, I don't, cause I gotta cut it out myself, so yeah. Oh, another thing, if you guys see my nose running, mind your business, just mind your business. It's, it's probably because it's cold outside and my fingers are kind of like almost frozen. And um, I got a heater, but um, I don't want my heater running while this is running and I don't want no blackout. I just, I just don't, because I kind of like electricity. I mean, other than that, I'll just go with my hands, so I don't really want to do that right now, so yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start with the easy stuff. I know I'm gonna have to make, um. How many of these I'm gonna need? I'm gonna need one set of these. And I'm going to need four sets of these. Now, like I said, I don't have enough of the dice pieces. So um, I'm fine as long as I can, because they don't have to be dice. For you guys, they're gonna be dice because you know I can't send out a product 
and it's coming out with like angle cuts. And I, I prefer not to do that. Yes, I'm doing this on my own. You know, I, I really am. But I still want to look very professional. <laughs> so, um, you guys ain't gonna get these, okay? Y'all not gonna get these little ugly pieces. Not. Nah. You're gonna get these nice cube size pieces. So, okay, we, we about to play the sorting game. So, you, um, okay, one, okay, um, I can make about, okay, that's one, two, okay, I can make two at least, okay, one, two, three, okay, I can make another set, okay, I'm gonna do six, wow, odd number, oh, here goes some right here, y'all, I'm looking for these, okay, so, this one, this one, so I got about one, two, three, four. Okay, so I can make four. I think I can make four of these, but hold on. Cause this stair only requires one, two, three, four, five, six. Hold on, one, two, three, four, five, six. So this stair only requires six. Y'all know I had to look at this again, cause um, I don't want to start the project and it's like, oh, ain't got enough. But we gonna make it enough. So I know I can do one, two, three, four. And I need about four of these. So I gotta cut one, two, three. I'm going to need three times four. It's gonna be 12, I need 12 long treads. I'm gonna need 12 stair treads. So I got that coming. Um. I don't have enough pieces for like the dice pieces to be able to do this, but we're gonna go ahead and roll with this. As long as it's nice, you know, hey, it might even work. It may be a little bit, you know, a little bit larger than this. It might, you know, have to be like this size, which is fine because I don't wanna use solid strips because that's like wasting. It, it really is wasting. It ain't really wasting, but it is wasting. It is wasting, I'm not gonna, it is wasting. You don't need a solid steer all the time, you know. You just don't. It's called wasting. So, and then, <sighs> gotta go back in the house in mean, this cold shed, and I gotta get the bags with my other trim. So, like I said, I got work to do. I really do. Okay, guys. So, I want to turn all of what you see in front of me into a bunch of stairs. Like I want to completely take this raw material and really make it look like stairs, turn it into stairs. And I'm really excited about it because it gives me a chance to be able to, you know, use a new tool, get another goal accomplished that I can make, that I can check off the checklist. And also, be proud of myself because I'm so proud I was able to do this like from nothing. Like, this how I got, you know, this house right here from nothing. So, got a lot of work to do. So, you guys see what I was saying about before? My miter box. You know, my hand tool, it was cutting out all of my trim, you know, sideways because I had wore out that middle channel. I wore that thing, I, I wore it out till it was to the point where it had gotten a little bit wider at the bottom, but it was still narrow at the top. So I guess all that, you know, cutting and sawing really kind of did that. So I was gonna start with the pieces I already had because I really hate to waste these. I mean, I could at least cut off the bad pieces, but at the same time, you know, I kind of don't want to start with a bad piece because that's going to make all my stairs look uneven. And I kind of don't want that. Not for this. So I don't want to use no long strips either. My long strips are like, not unless I have to. But I'm going to try to work around it and work with what I got. I'm going to cut out all the bad pieces that you know were cut with the miter box.
I dropped like so many, like so much stuff can fall on the ground. Obviously, it's, it's a lot to do. But other than that, I mean, it's cutting pretty good for me. Like I'm just slicing them through like sliced bread at a lumber mill. And um, yeah. Now there are some things I, I'm not really um, liking about this, but I'm thankful because it's a lot easier than you know sawing it. But some of the things I don't like about it so far is like when I slide it through, maybe it's on my end. I thought I would need like a push guard, but it keeps getting like stuck. Like these little pieces, they get like stuck right here. And I'll show you guys what I mean. You see how that one got stuck? So I just have to keep going like a like a meal, you know. So other than that, I mean, it's a pretty good tool. It's pretty fast. It's a lot quicker than what I was doing before. And so far, I don't have any like cuts that are like slant or anything, not that I know of. So I really do like that part about this. I really, really enjoy that part about this. But, you know, I had everything organized to start sliding off of the table over there. So now I got to reorganize. Okay, so we finally have all of our pieces grouped like they should be grouped. And it feels really good because I can see the progress and the project just coming along together. So it's it's moving. Like, I didn't even know I was gonna buy this power tool today. I thought I was just gonna buy like a bunch of those little cubes and it just, you know, cut off the side, miter box. But no, 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 I had other plans obviously. So it's coming along so far. So now I just wanna group everything together and I kind of want to get some glue and start gluing the first piece and then the next piece and the next piece. And I build it up exactly like a stair. And it's, it's it works for me. I, I, I love it. I love it. So what we're going to start with first is we're going to start with one of our longer treads as the bottom piece for number one. After we do that, then we're going to have one of our cubes. We're going to have a cube here and we're going to put a cube here. And then we're gonna add the second tread and we're gonna put it on top of that cube. You see how this is a full cube? I'm sorry, a full tread. This is a full tread. It's pretty much self-explanatory. Like once you start like stacking everything up, you'll kind of be able to see it come all together. So I think it's gonna come out really good. So since I already know how to do this, I'm gonna go ahead and do it. <laughs> and I'm gonna go ahead and make a bunch of them. So I won't have to make more. I might even make some more for like next week or you know, more homes. Even if I want to ship them out like this, I don't mind that just as long as they're like really good. Like I don't mind doing the leg work because my ideal at first or my goal at first was to just ship it out in pieces and parts and, you know, kind of like get you guys to do it yourself, you know, so you can kind of like learn the skills as you go. But then again, I was thinking, you know what? Let me just do the stairs. It'll be one less instructional thing I have to put in the instruction. So. I'm still thinking about that, but I think it's gonna come out good either way. <laughs> 